All right, moving on to uh, a guy who, um, uh, well, actually, before we even get into that, let's talk about the third round rules. Let's talk about the rules before we get into anything. Everything gets doubled from the second round. A great take gives you 800 points. A good take gives you 400. An okay take gives you 200. And a bad take gives you zero points. Again, now to a guy that uh, Mike was just going crazy about earlier in the show, Josh Allen, who led the Bills to five <laughs> consecutive Ws to get them to the playoffs, to the AFC East title, and maybe most importantly to the 2C, which would guarantee them at least two home playoff games. Buffalo getting a 21-14 to W against the Miami Dolphins. And listen, despite the fact that it was kind of an uneven season by Buffalo, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, having to fire their offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey, Josh Allen leading the league in turnovers, but then leading the league in, in, in rushing touchdowns, kind of an up-and-down roller coaster season. Sean McDermott's job is, is on the line. So a lot happened for Buffalo this season, and now they're in the playoffs as the two seed. So I'll start with you, Dylan. According to Vegas... Buffalo is the number two favorite behind Baltimore to win the AFC. Should they be? I'm going to say yes. And, you know, I mean, the Buffalo has definitely had their fair share, share of struggles. Josh Allen has definitely not been um, the same that we've had come to expect from him in previous years. However, Josh Allen is still a very good quarterback. He has plenty of playoff experience. He knows – what it takes to be successful and at least make it deep. Sure, he hasn't made a Super Bowl, but he's at least gone to the AFC Championship. And you can't really say that about many of the quarterbacks in the AFC side. Um, they also still have a good running game with James Cook, who's a thousand yard rusher. You still got plenty of good receivers, especially with Stefan Diggs being the dog that he is. And then, you know, they still got Shakir, they got Gabe Davis, although they're not crazy names. Josh Allen has done wonders with you know, them already, and I could see them still continuing. The only other two teams I could see having similar odds would be the Chiefs and the Dolphins, and they're playing each other. And the Chiefs, they're not the same animal they were, you know, even last year when they won the Super Bowl. You know, even though, like, they were showing, like, this decline, they still won it. I don't see that. I don't see them repeating. And then the Dolphins, they're limping in with all the injury struggles they have. And on top of that, it's looking like Buffalo is going to play either one of those two teams come the divisional round if all things you know are expected to go in my eyes at least um so i think overall i think the bills have a great chance to make it to the super bowl if not for the ravens so yes yeah, and there's no question Baltimore's a favorite. I don't think anybody here would disagree with that. And listen, Buffalo's been playing as, obviously, they've been the hottest team in the AFC outside of Baltimore in the last month, winning, and, and they've been kind of in the playoffs, so to speak, for the last month. They've had to win all these games in order to win their division. And frankly, if they had lost in the division and been the sixth seed, even if they were going to Kansas City, they have won there before, but you kind of trust the championship medal, the experience of Kansas City to potentially get the job done. Now, if those two face off, that, that thing's in Buffalo for the first time between Mahomes and Allen, so that definitely makes a big uh, big difference. There's no question about that. So I'm dealing I'm going to give you a good take uh, for this segment. Listen, Buffalo's been on some playoff runs. They've often gotten uh, shut out by the likes of Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and Travis Kelsey and others. But listen, this is about a good good opportunity as they've had given the home field component of it, at least until a potential AFC title game uh, matchup against Baltimore. So a good take there by Dylan. Mike Guido, should the Buffalo Bills have the second best odds to win the AFC? Absolutely. They absolutely should. And I, I, to be honest, it has less to do with how much I believe in the Bills. It has a lot to do with how little I believe in everybody else other than Baltimore. I, I think, you know, there are every other team that's in the AFC bracket, again, with the exception of Baltimore, have bigger concerns than I have with Buffalo, truthfully. I mean, listen, Kansas City, to me, this is not the Kansas City of old. They have got, they don't have a receiver that can consistently create separation. This is just not an offensive football team that I think can sustain itself in the playoffs. I just don't think that they can. You know, are you really going to tell me that CJ Stroud as a rookie is going to go on a run and go to the Super Bowl? Are you really going to tell me that Joe Flacco is going to go on a run with the Cleveland Browns? Like, there's a lot of things that you have to convince me of to, in order for me to knock Buffalo off. The truth of the matter is with Buffalo is that they're six and one since they fired Ken Dorsey as their offensive coordinator. They've been playing much better football in the second half of the season. Listen, they're bl they blew out teams like the Cowboys. I mean, like this is an offense that can get rolling. And listen, in a lot of these big games, like I said, you take the good with the bad with Josh Allen, but in a lot of these games, I mean, you just see it, especially in the second half of these games, he just becomes Superman. Like, it's just unbelievable some of the things that he can do. They've committed to running the football, which has become a huge difference maker for them because even when Josh Allen's not great, they can still find some sustainability in their offense. So 
I'm I'm all in on the Bills. I think they're one of two teams in the AFC bracket that can go to a Super Bowl. It's them in Baltimore, and that's really it. Like I said, I have a lot of questions going through the AFC bracket outside of Baltimore and Buffalo. Yeah, I mean, you make some fair points, and obviously I believe that the odds go uh, Baltimore, Buffalo, Kansas City, and then I'm pretty sure it might be like Cleveland, Miami, kind of you know neck and neck. I think Cleveland's yeah. much better, a much better spot than Miami, but that's another discussion. Uh, listen, across the board, I, I I see some of the things you're saying. I'm going to give you a if, if I want to make sure I get this right. Yep, I want to give you a good take uh, because the simple fact I don't know if Buffalo's offense is quite as good as you're giving credit for for the simple fact that they had that explosion against Dallas. They had a good start against Kansas City, but sometimes whether it's that kind of the middle of these games, second, third quarters, they're either turning the football over, they're struggling to get to generate any offense consistently. And you got to realize if not for that long punt return, the 95 yarder, do they win that game against the Miami Dolphins? There's a lot of and props to them for making the plays. I'm not trying to, to, to act like they, they didn't deserve to win the game. They obviously very much deserve to win the game um but listen there, there's there's certain things that i don't think this offense can get quite as hot as as some other offenses but you know the, the, the point of sort of it's a by default type of situation given what's around them that's that it, it's a fair one so a good take by mike guido finally to you tim barnard i know you have a lot of love for the buffalo bills as a patriots fan um uh, but it, it, objectively should they have the second best odds according to vegas to win the afc now objectively i would answer the same way i would as if i was a Pats fan and that's no I honestly, the way they've been playing this season, yes, granted, they've had a good uh, end of season run, you know, since they fired Ken Dorsey again, six of one, I understand, but you know, you have Baltimore and Kansas city have a better team defense than Buffalo and Kansas city, Baltimore and Cleveland have a better pass defense than Buffalo. And at the end of the day, it all settles on Josh Allen and the way he played on uh, Sunday against Miami and Bryson, I was going to bring up that point was if that 95 yard punt return does 95, 98 yard punt return doesn't happen. You do do does Buffalo win that game. And because let's not forget, Josh Allen has the most interceptions he's thrown in his entire career with 18 Buffalo is second in interceptions thrown as an entire team in the NFL. So, what I'm wondering is, do, can Josh, you know, play a clean game of football? And I don't believe he can. And in the playoffs, when you need to win, when this is a game that you have to win, whether it's at home or away, you have to take care of the football. At the end of the day, taking care of the football is a hell of a lot more important than, you know, sacrificing um you know, uh, uh, obviously bad plays, right? You know, you, you want to make sure you take care and make good decisions, whether that's a check down or just a, you know, three yard drag route, you know, stop trying to hit the home run when you don't need it. Also not for nothing. This in D Stefan Diggs is career in Buffalo. This has been his worst season by total yards and yards per reception. So again, we've all like, even dating back to last year, we've all talked about how Stefan Diggs has been at odds with either Buffalo or Josh Allen not getting the ball, whatever it may be. So can that dysfunction, seconds, carry, on? Can that dysfunction carry on in the playoffs? I, I, I don't believe it can. I don't believe they're the second best. At the end of the day, I don't believe they, they, they ha should have the second best odds. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, and obviously, and again, we obviously give them credit for winning that for those five straight games, and their defense has, has played a big part despite losing Matt Milano and despite losing uh, Tredavious White, Rasul Douglas. I don't think we're giving him enough love, but after he was traded from Green Bay, Rasul Douglas has played excellent football uh, down the stretch. This Bills running game has been good, but yeah, the Stephon Diggs thing has been a story for a good two months now. Is it due to the new offensive change with Joe Brady coming in in place of Ken Dorsey? Uh, there's a lot of factors uh, in that regard. So, Tim Barnard, I'm going to give you a great take. So, you are the points leader. You are followed. Dylan Lima, you are going the final round, which means that Mike Guido is out of the final round, the defending champion and the points leader, the 8 o'clock spot. I'm sorry, Mike. Um, yeah, for you today, buddy. Listen, it's a rare occurrence. It's all right. I can watch from the sidelines this time. Give the give the champ a little bit of a break. It's all right. Right, 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 right. Of course. I mean, listen, LeBron can't make every finals every year, right? Yeah, that's true. It's very true. It's, I know you're a LeBron guy. I had to give you love. Okay, shout out Mike Guido. Uh, good, good performance tonight. Uh, before we move on to the final round, we got a few comments uh, right here. My man Philip Chenault says the Titans should be disbanded. Uh, I, I don't totally disagree with that, and I say that as somebody who lives in the great state of Tennessee. Uh, Barry Grant Jr. does Mike get minus 800 for his Josh Allen-Kobe Bryant comparison? Man should be arrested and put in sports jail. Uh, listen, I... 
I, I thought about it, but I'm like, you know, I'm going to give the, the benefit of the doubt because we all have a right to, to feel how we, how we want to feel. But I was tempted to, Barry. It was very tempted. It's a good thing you put me in the host chair rather than yourself. And then finally, the Grid Network. Subscribe to the Grid. Great shows, great take, great, great takes, great guys. Dare to be different. Enter the Grid. Absolutely, 